Hello crafty ladies, Barb here. Coming to you today to do this VR for JP Peggy 2's Christmas in July challenge. Uh, Beth from Beth's scrapbook room has also joined in her challenge. But let's start with Peggy's part. Uh, she has quite a few rules so you need to go to her site. And I'll put a link below so uh, you can see that. But you must make a VR, and you, of course you have to be a subscriber. But you have until July 31st, so you have a lot of time if you want to enter the challenge. Um, Beth's part is you send the cards to Beth, and she is going to distribute them at Christmas to... From what I understand, nursing homes, hospitals, places where the elderly are. So I went ahead and put a few embellishments on my cards that won't mail because I thought she would probably put them in a package or something and just take the package to the facility and each card wouldn't be mailed individually. But that was my my assumption and sometimes I assume things wrong so we might need to check on that but my grandson who's eight helps me and uh, together we made these cards we have five and you have to tell Peggy in your title how many you made and you get one entry for one card two entries for two cards up to five cards on uh, Peggy's part and this is one we made, and he cut out this poinsettia, and uh, the inside just has some stickers and some things made on the computer and parts of other cards. We don't have stamps and punches and everything like you ladies have, so we just have to use what we have. But I think this card came out real pretty. I'm, I'm really proud of it. I think it looks good. And this one says Peace on Earth. And we got our little red bow and white rose on it. I love the cardinals at Christmas time. I just think they're beautiful. A little American flag there. And on the inside, just some stickers and... And pieces we've cut out of other Christmas cards. Uh, the back, he put a bow back here. Just, uh, I think, a pretty little card. And it has the matching envelope that came with the card we cut up. <laughs> so we're just going to put that with it. And this one's just a Santa here. Merry Christmas. He put a little glitter and stuff on here. We've got let's say, other pieces of cards on the inside. That's what we have. And from the heart. That's what we call ourselves. We, everything we do is from the heart. And this one I love. It just has a dove. It's in a royal blue. Put a little ribbon bow on it. And the inside is red and blue. And I really like this. Wishing you and your loved ones the blessing of peace. I think that really goes well with our dove. And the back has a little angel on the back. And, and, whoa, excuse me, knock the camera over. Oh, and my phone's dinging over there. <laughs> and this one just has the baby Jesus. And we added some roses and ribbons and... And the inside just has some cutouts. And it says, Merry Christmas, friends, I wrote on there. And this one says, trying to read it through the camera. May the love of the infant Jesus be in your heart this Christmas and throughout the new year. But I thought if these are going somewhere to... You know, maybe someone that doesn't have family or something. They would just like to see something bright and cheery. So that's what we did. 
Well, I will leave a link below to JP Peggy 2's original challenge. She also has an update on her challenge. I will leave that link below. And the link for Beth's scrapbook room. Originally, Peggy did not want the cards mailed. You just had to show her that you made them. But Beth wants you to send the cards to her so she can deliver them where they're needed. So I think that's a great idea. I'm happy to do that. But you have until July 31st. So you still got a lot of time to make cards. Uh, you'll have a great day. And I will talk to you shortly. I will be back a little later with another video. Bye-bye.